Hey guys, and welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night. In the last episode, I believe we left off so I could go and open the secrets here in this room. However, I need to move my map back. There we go. However... Yep, okay, we did it. I wasn't 100% sure if that worked, but yeah, we're good. We're all gravy. So, now there's only one more secret left here, which, admittedly, it's actually quite a big secret. Let's see if we can get in there, shall we? I believe we need to be heading down this way. So this was actually quite a difficult one to find, to be honest. There we go. Oh no, we could have got the uh, the holy water there. Yeah, that was quite a difficult one to unlock because uh, one of those switches I had to continuously turn into gas to actually reliably change it. Now, in theory, that's not too bad, but it's very difficult to actually activate that switch only once. Quite often, I was activating it twice, which was difficult. And then obviously my sword friend, who in hindsight, maybe, just maybe, I should have deactivated, was uh, accidentally pressing the switches as well. So that took a little bit, little bit longer than I was hoping, but doesn't matter. This guy keeps respawning there, which is interesting. Okay, cool. So now this place is completely tapped and mined out. Let's continue. And we're going to run out of bloody magic, aren't we? Yes. Which means getting out of here is going to be a little bit more of a chore. Actually, no, it's fine. We can just jump our way to victory, which is the way all vampires ah, should get things done. Oh, actually, there we go. Let's grab that. Perfect. Now, you know what? Let's just get out of here. Through here quickly. Okay. Okay. Nice. Now, if we come up here, or up one of these little stairways, anyway, there should be... Hey, it's a bomb night. Haven't seen one of those for a while, have we? Hmm. Ow, you hurt. So we're just going to transform into a gaseous cloud. Oof, that was sketch. All right, this is fine. This is totally fine. Back this way somewhere, there's a turkey. Not 100% sure where this turkey is. But it would be a... Sh ah, there it is. All turkey. Cool. Um... Although, that doesn't look much like a turkey to me. Just saying. Whilst the game crawls to a halt. Who needs frames anyway? As long as we're getting two frames a second, it's fine, right? I suppose we could probably get under that with a wolf, but you know what? We don't need to worry about that, because we can just turn into gas. Kind of renders a lot of our abilities kind of moot, really. So, here we have the moon rod. And I have no idea if the moon rod's any good. It's a rod with lunar markings. Well, I mean, it does less damage. And it doesn't seem to have a big splash like our other weapon, but it's fine. Let's go back to the shield rod. Wherever the shield rod has deposited itself. I mean, Alucard sword, I'm sure. Wow. Alucard sword actually is doing a crazy amount of damage right now. So, you know what? Let's use it. It's been a hot minute since we've had this thing. Is this the sword that we actually had in the beginning of the game? I'm not actually 100% sure. Ooh. This looks like a nasty little room, doesn't it? Now, let's turn to gas so we can explore the whole thing. 
Just for the lols. Cool. That's not even the whole thing explored. God damn it. Right, I'm gonna wait to get our magic back. One second. Alright, now, pretty much used all of our magic up again, but that's fine. It is what it is. We've managed to escape the area, so we found a whole dollar. That's exciting. Some TNT, which we're certainly going to stick in our pocket, just for reasons, I guess. Get some hearts. Now, there is more stuff around here. There's a throwing knife. A decent one, I should say, and a shuriken somewhere. There we go. Nice. And that, guys, leads us full circle. Quite literally, actually. All the way back to where we first started this madness. <clears throat> okay. So it's taken us a hot minute, but we have finally... Got our asses all the way around. Which I think is quite an impressive feat. Now, the best way, you know what? I think the best way to get to where we need to go next, actually, is to use a teleportation room. So let us go do just that. There's something very Resident Evil about this music as well. Kind of reminds me of the uh, music in Resident Evil 2 in the laboratory. I do like the way the portals in this castle... Ah, perfect. The portals in this uh, castle do appear. Actually, there's a better way we can go. You know what? We're not going to go here. Yeah, the music in the Resident Evil 2 uh, original game, the remake. So we've actually got... This is interesting. There's a few rooms that we can explore here that we have not yet done so. Okay, cool. Let's go back. I think some of these rooms are literally just tying them to, like, sections of the castle together. Um, especially the one directly ahead of us. Oh, yes, we remember this place, don't we? We've got a monster vial, which will allow us to summon skeletons, which, well, it's not super useful, to be honest. Now, let's go unlock this. And I think we're almost out of magic again, which we absolutely are. Um... Okay. Now, is there anything actually in here? Um, I don't think there actually is. This is completely empty. If we go through there, there was a... Oh, yeah, we already got that health potion, didn't we? Yes, yes, yes. I see. And there's a singular room that we can go into. That we've already been into. Okay, cool, fine. In that case, we're just gonna go back. It's kind of interesting, just had to grab that. Ooh. Nope, that's fine, keep falling. And we're gonna be going this way. Now I thought originally there might be a boss down here, but there isn't, but what there is, Lots of spikes. We're going to run out of uh, magical power long before we get through this place. But, you know, that's fine. Ooh. Drop the shuriken. I guess we'll have a shuriken. Why not? Yink, yink. Come on, baby. There we go. Now, that completes the first part. Now, curiously enough, have I missed a room? No, I haven't. Fine. Um, yeah, curiously enough, there isn't anything in here at all. I did think there might be a boss 
or something big and nasty that we can go fight, but uh -uh. nothing to that effect, I'm afraid. Now, drop down again. There's not even that many items in this zigzag to actually find either, I think. Ooh. There's actually only one. We still got a few items. Ooh. Nope. I thought that actually was producing some kind of different effect then, but no. I was like, aha, Alucard Sword is what you need to kill those skulls. Nope. Don't be ridiculous. Ridiculous. And there's the library card. Not that we need another one of those, but, you know, better have it and not need it. Ooh. I mean, it's a quick way down, I suppose. <laughs> right, so in here, there is a couple of items. Again, nothing, like, super important. We have a potion, which, you know, is pretty useless to us, if we're being honest, at this point in the game. And there's an anti-venom a little bit further down. So let's go scoop that up. There we go. And that's all of those items. And with that, I think that's... Oh, hello. Ah, that's where this leads us. Interesting. Oh, so we actually do need the shield rod to make this shield um, heal you and destroy enemies on contact. Okay, that kind of makes sense, sort of. Right, so we've got another link down below to the right, which we need to grab. Ah, this is the other room. Got ya. We don't need to fight those guys, they're literally a waste of our time. Can we heal from this? Ah, no, hang on. Let's switch back to the shield rod, just because that combination is just unbelievably overpowered. Or, you know, it would be if these skulls weren't bugged. Yeah. I don't know, maybe there's something more going on there. Not sure. So, if we keep going this way... Don't think we're going to find any items, but we are going to find another save point. One of the last save points in the game, actually, that we have yet ooh, to discover. So this place is full of those bitter bug things, or whatever they're called, I guess. Yep. Bitterfly. I'm impressed I remembered what they were called. Very impressive. Sometimes I scare myself. Alright, well. I guess we can take that. Ah, turquoise. That was on my list of things to grab. Somehow must have forgotten that. Alright, no matter. We have it now. Nope. And there would have to be gremlins in here, wouldn't there? Little fiery bastards. Not bad. How many gr Yeah, I was going to say, there's got to be another one. I thought I could hear you, you little shit. Look at this. Look at all this nonsense you've laid in our way. And that links us up almost perfectly. So I believe, apart from the last couple of little bits that we've got left to do, that is... The entire castle, at least as far as I can tell, that we can explore. So, let's go save the game. I'm sure that's just about everything. I mean, like I say, there's a couple of little tiles that for whatever reason just won't click as explored. Ah, there is another one down there that we've missed as well. But... It's in a room that we have thoroughly explored. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm pretty happy with this completion rate, to be honest. So, the only thing that's left to do is to go and kick Vladdy Boy in the nuts. And Shaft, for that matter. 
We're on 15 minutes. So let's start making our way back over to him, shall we? Be rude not to, I guess. And I'm sure there's probably an item or two that has escaped my clutches as well. Uh, there are definitely some items that you can only get from like harvesting enemies and that kind of thing that we obviously haven't got. But apart from that, I might. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. Uh, if we go to relics, nope. Familiars. Ah, oh, sword is <sighs> all of this. Right, we've done this entire castle, and the sword is only level 48. It needs to be level 50 before we can wield it. But don't forget, that's only when it's at its weakest. It needs to get to level 100 before it's at its full power, which is kind of bonkers when you think about it. Um, so up here, let's just chip this one off. Oh, money. We grab that. Yep, 400. That's a big bag of money after all. Ooh, what did he drop? Mystic Pendant. What's that about? Uh, Mystic Pendant, you say. Oh, we still got the Mirror Caress on as well. That's no good. Let's go for the Walk Armor, which is going to, like, over double our armor. <laughs> it's kind of a little bit stupid. Stupid that I forgot to uh, use it, of course. So, the mysterious pendant. Oh, we've already got one of those. Right, yeah, that just uh, increases our MP restoration. All right, nothing to see here, folks. Now, if we shoot through here, you know what we could do, actually? This is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass. We will finish this video off by me going back to the librarian and selling everything. And we're going to re-equip ourselves. We've got 10 mil tickets. Which is give us mystery food, but that's fine. We've got six librarian cards. Cool. Let's go back, see our librarian. It's going to be the last point. my map with basically everything now. Cool. Evening Chief. What can I do for you? Well, let's have a look at the enemy list. Ah, so there is some enemies that we haven't found. Okay, but only three. I'm wondering if one of them is Shaft and one of them is... Um, Dracula, but also there is one enemy that only appears in one room and I did mention it I believe earlier on in the LP and at the time I don't believe I knew about it, but I wasn't that super bothered about it anyway, but right, let's sell some gems wow, we've got a few of those got a few of those. We don't have any onyx. That's interesting. Wow, the garnets are worth a decent chunk of change. And oof. Oh my. That was a lot of cash. Right. So these restore all HP. And it doesn't throw f um, food on the floor or anything like that. It just literally uh, heals you. So, is there anything here that we don't have? We don't have a Thunderbrand. We don't have a Harper. We don't have a Silver Crown. We don't have a Steel Caress, which is curious. I thought we did actually. A Diamond Breastplate. I thought we did have that. They don't give you much, though. Dual-coloured reversible cape. 
seems like a waste of time. Actually, there's a lot of items here that we don't have. Ah, gauntlet. We could have picked that up. And of course, we could buy the spells as well, which we don't really care about. All right, fine. There's a few things here. I guess what I could do is put a save state here. Um, we'll put a save state there. And one there. I always like to make three just in case I fuck it up. Just in case we want to use these. Ooh, and we're going to spend literally all of our money on elixirs. Like you. So we can heal ourselves 21 times. I'm reasonably happy with that. And, well, quite confident too. Let's also, I suppose, use our meal tickets. Because why not? Lunch bee. Ham and eggs. Nope, nope, go away. Nope, 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 nope. For now. And then, <laughs> pork bun. There's a lot of food in this game. Like, considering the type of game it is, it's kind of ridiculous. We've got banana. No, go away. I'm just spawning food. Miso soup. Rank furter. More ice cream. And that's that. Right, okay, so with that, that, with that, that, with that, as is, guys, I think the next time we meet, we will be back in the center of the castle. We've got one little area left to explore, which is where we need to go, and by little area, I mean it's two rooms, and then we have to go fight Vladdy Boy. So, I'm looking forward to that. So thanks for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.